Hi everyone! Guess what night it is? It's Friday. I think it's time for a little wine and a little dinner. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Friday night at Nancy's. You know, I think that's time for a wine diary, a little bit of wine, a little bit of dinner. So I want to thank you guys again for taking a few minutes out of your day to spend with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys so much. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you would please consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you guys come back and join us for future videos. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys leave some comments and suggestions on some different wines for me. And I hope that you all give this video a thumbs up. That really helps get my channel out there and gives me a chance to grow some more. So thank you to everyone that has helped support me. Again, I love you guys so much and I'm so blessed to have you in my life, but today it's Friday. All's right in the world again. No matter how rough the week seems or how long it seems when it gets to Friday, just like a little step, a little bounce to your step, right? I know I'm a little happier when I walk down the hallway to go into my office and grab my coffee. I know Friday's a good day. So anyway, we are going to open up the second bottle uh, from my Wink Wine Club. I am absolutely loving, loving the subscription. I've had so much fun uh, tasting different wines and trying to get different ideas, whether it's some snacks, some appetizers, or a dinner, and just sharing that with you. You guys are amazing. I wish we could do this in person. But today, for the second bottle from my Wink Wine Club, and this one I'm probably going to have to shut the camera off in a minute to open it, but I have got a Cabernet Sauvignon. I absolutely love this wine. Never thought I would. I've actually enjoy it better when it's closer to my room temperature, which right now in the winter, I keep my heat at 63. I know it feels kind of chilly. Hence, I have two sweaters on. Can you tell? Yeah. But anyway, helps keep the bills down. So anyway, this one is a Porter and Plot from 2019. And it does have like a wax seal on it. So I don't know how easy that is to peel off. So I will open up that up a second. They do suggest letting this breathe, but I am going to use my aerator from Barbara Jean. Age is just a number. So I'm excited to do that. But with my dinner tonight, I did mention that barbecue would be good to have for this. So I did a DoorDash tonight. Yeah, I know. It's, that is so convenient. I know. So... I went to that same place where I got that awesome, awesome sandwich that I had with the apple fritter bread. So they have a barbecue, it's a Texas barbecue pulled pork sandwich. I'm just going to put my fork under there. So it is slow cooked pork in barbecue sauce with smothered red onions, lots and lots of tomato sauce. And you can see it's on a fresh hoagie bun. I have no idea how I am going to. Well, you know I'm not going to be able to pick this up and eat it. So I'm going to have to do it with a, with a fork. I also got some cheese curds. And when Quinn was out here in May. And we went to all different restaurants. And Quinn wanted to try cheese curds. Because they don't really have those back on the East Coast. So these cheese curds here. They're cheddar cheese. And they got a batter on them. And then they're deep fried and they serve it with some um, ranch dressing and these were the ones of all the different places that we went to these ones were the winner in Quinn's book and then I just got a side of coleslaw instead of fries because I figured this was kind of kind of a heavy meal though this sandwich that's probably going to be at least three meals for me so I'll have some tonight probably some for lunch tomorrow and maybe some for dinner unless I decide to split that up so anyway with a wink I'm going to uh, post that video up there, that first video that I did, opening the wink. Um, I'll have a playlist at the end so that you can see the different wines I've had with it, maybe the different fascinators and hats and costumes. So I'm going to try to figure out how to open this. 
and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I got this open. I've got the aerator in here. That is just so nice. And um, this is actually one of their premium wines. So uh, most of the wines that you get, you know, the four bottles every month, is going to total that $59. And of course, the shipping is free. But they do give you different options and suggestions if you wanted to maybe try more expensive wine. So this was one of the more expensive wines. So I think I got two bottles that I kind of upgraded to. So I think it cost me like another $7 to upgrade to a different wine. So I'm looking forward to tasting this. And um, so out of this wine, it's a 2019 Cabernet Sauvignon. It's from Mendocino County Line, Mendocino, California. And out of the 3,517 people that tasted this and rated it, it came up with 4.3 out of 5. So that sounds pretty good. So I got some poured in my glass already, and I wish I knew how to show that, but this has got some really nice legs. It's coating my glass and the legs are really slow moving. That tells me it's got a higher alcohol content. It is a nice, deep, kind of like a purpley, brownish red color. Alrighty, so let's kind of swirl this around in my glass without spilling it, kind of release those fragrances a little bit more, let it breathe a little bit. And these kind of glasses, if they're narrower up here, so that as the fragrances kind of come alive and they all kind of gather up here. So as you're drinking it, you can sniff it because sometimes sniffing it, getting those fragrances kind of helps enchant the flavors. Maybe it's a kind of mind all using different senses. And then of course, just, uh, just sniffing it and trying to figure out what is in here. So, I smell blackberry, maybe some chocolate, maybe like a Fig Newton without the dough. Alrighty. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Mm. This has got a really nice texture. I'm going to say it's a full body. It kind of dries your mouth out at first with the tannins, but you do have some acidity in it. So your mouth does water a little bit, kind of washes away that dryness, but you're really left. Like I can still taste everything that's in here up in the palate, my tongue, and my throat back here because it's warmer because it's at 63 degrees. And those flavors just kind of come alive. They feel really nice. It's got some nice soft tannins. I'm thinking probably oak oak wood but i'm not really sure on that but it does feel nice i'm gonna have another little sip and then we'll read what it says about it this is going to go really nice with my dinner and that barbecue sauce smells so tangy i have no idea how i am controlling myself i could put the wine down and just eat that sandwich oh my god that smells amazing i'm probably going to need a gallon of water cheers cheers again mm. This is really, really nice. I'm glad I tried this one. Alrighty. So my notes. Okay. So we went over the 4.3 out of 3,517 people. They do say it's a full body. Uh, it's dry and it's 14.8% alcohol. So a good alcohol content. So drink responsibly. Don't go drinking and driving. Just moderation. Moderation. No matter what it is, it's always the key, right? Okay, so tasting notes are anise. So that's my probably that kind of spiciness that I feel. Um, blackberry chocolate. It says earth and fig. It says it's a luxe Cabernet Sauvignon hailing from Mendocino County line. And it says by focusing on small lot wines, porter and plot showcases the unique nuanced individuality of California's most exceptional vineyards and appellations. Cabernet Sauvignon is the king of red grapes. It's grown pretty much everywhere, but depending on where it's grown and what the climate is like, the grape can express vastly different qualities and styles. Um, let's kind of skip through some of this. So it says the this example shows ripe, opulent fruit notes with a hint of dried earth and savory herb in the balance. All wrapped up 
by Refined Tannins, Decant and Drink Now, or Age Further in the Bottle and Enjoy. So it says how to serve it, cellar temperature. It says it pairs well with burgers, pizza, chocolate cake, and barbecue. So anyway, I'm going to have it with some barbecue tonight, but this would go really nice with a nice spaghetti sauce, maybe a nice thick juicy steak cooked up on the grill or just a nice pizza. I'd, I'd have it with a side of french fries. Yeah, it's really, really good. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending part of your Friday night with me. I hope everyone goes out and has a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Have fun, everyone. So anyway, take care. Stay safe, be kind, be happy, enjoy life, have some fun, and we will see you guys in our next video. Love you guys so much. Bye-bye.